everybody. Welcome back to the Zoom. I'm your host, Chris Schubert, and as always, we are here to zoom in on thought leaders in the channel today. My guest is Kevin Bednars, National Channel Manager Extraordinaire at Granite. Welcome, Kevin. Hey, Chris. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Anything that you do, I'm happy to be a part of. Tons of eyeballs. I appreciate everything that you do for the, uh, for the channel and for, obviously, CNSG and our partners. And with that statement, you're already my favorite guest of the year. So awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, all kidding, kidding aside, uh, one of the things we always like to do on the Zoom is learn a little bit about the personalities behind the channel. And in a, in a world where most channel managers have a tenure of eight months, you've been at Granite for eight years and almost all that in the channel itself. But before then, you had kind of an interesting start to your sales career. What can you tell us about that? <laughs> That's funny. We're getting all the secrets out right away. I like it. Um, so before Granite, I, uh, I worked for a company called Sintas, great company. I did door to door sales. Um, and I sold floor mats, paper towels, uh, tile and carpet cleaning, um, literally everything like walking into pizza places, any business you could imagine. So, you know, the middle of, 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 you know, January in Massachusetts, there's a blizzard outside. I have to go out and sell some floor mats because that's my livelihood. So it was a great job right out of college, taught me some great work ethic and uh, great company to work for. I, I highly recommend that, you know, you, you kind of build your confidence that way. You, you build your hone, your sales skills that way. Um, just really knocking, going door to door and hustling and grinding and, uh, and every sale counts. So wouldn't trade it for the world. Great company. I totally, totally see where you're coming from. You know, I cut my teeth at being a telemarketer back in high school and college. And, you know, I've got a friend right now that's in door to door sales. She's just starting out and there is probably no tougher sales job in the world. Uh, I know folks talk about car sales, but I, I would tell you door-to-door uh, -door is probably the toughest, most knockdown drag out, but it builds some confidence. It, it teaches you how to do the gig. And obviously, I can tell just from our conversations in the past and today, you're a very passionate, fired up individual. So tell us how that relates to Granite. Uh, what, uh, what fires you up about Granite today and what is the identity of Granite in 2020? Yeah, yeah. So... I don't want to be boring, right? I don't want it to be just another mundane day at the office. Um, you know, from a granite standpoint, I feel like I, I got, I bought Google in the nineties, right? Like when I started here in the channel, there was four of us, right? And now it's, now we, this past year we hired 15 regionals, regional channel wow. managers and another 20 relationship development managers. So from four of us to see this explosive growth, I really did get into Google at the 90s, but this rocket ship is called Granite, right? So in, in the whole time I've been at Granite, um, you know, I've, I've been working for Charlie. Uh, I had a unique job. Uh, it was called Channel, Channels Affinity Sales. So, mm -hmm. you know, for example, Granite has corporate dominoes. My job is to cold call the franchisees. So I kind of did that. And then one day Charlie said, hey, you're, you're doing really well. You want to become a channel manager? And I said, yeah, what's a channel manager? <laughs> so, you know, and then from there, it just kind of, it just kind of took off, just had tons of success. Um, and it just kept building to bigger customers and bigger logoed names. And, and I was actually, uh, this was, you know, maybe about a year ago now, some of these logoed institutions that me personally, that I'm involved with is some of the biggest logos in the United States. So I've gone from knocking on doors at pizza places to having an impact on literally the largest institutions out there. Like that gives me like goosebumps. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's so cool what we're doing here. Like we're changing the world, Chris, you and I are like changing the world. How do you not get fired up about that? Like it's, it's amazing. Well, so. the thing that always gets me fired up every day is working in the channel. It's, it's a crazy fast paced, uh, sometimes, uh, full of insanity as, as well as, as good money, of course. But, you know, you look at Granite and Granite has, has traditionally kind of had a reputation as being a direct Salesforce company. Uh, you've made the investments in the channel. You've obviously hired a, 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 a huge amount of channel resources in last year. Why is the channel so important to Granite today? Yeah, great question. So first of all, the channel has always been important to Granite. Like, bringing in a trusted consultant, that trusted con advisor and leveraging their relationships to further your product or to create a new relationships is invaluable. It's, it's, you just have to do it. One of the things that really stood out to me personally was about 
2017 when we kind of looked at the numbers and we said, hey, Granite's channel, you know, we, we looked at the prior year's growth. And we said Granite's channel for, we had about maybe eight guys at the time. We did about 33% of the entire company's revenue. We have 300 direct reps and we have a handful of guys in channel. How does that balance? How, do, how is that working? Right? So our owner, you know, obviously very smart guy, Granite's a billion five. We got 87 out of the fortune 100. He said, we need to just take these resources that we have and build upon them. So that's kind of goes back to what I mentioned before, all these regional channel managers, the channel development. Now, instead of having a couple people in Boston, we have people in Florida, Tennessee, Brandy that you know very well, California, right? Up in, up, uh, Bill up in, uh, up in Seattle, uh, Texas, Chicago, literally everywhere. And just riding that growth is, 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 is insane. So, and, and I'll share one more fact. For Q4, Granite Channels put up about 44% of the entire company's growth. So our channel is literally going like this right now. Tick, 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 tick. Again, Google in the 90s. That's what, that's what it's about. It's, it's, it's nice what we as a channel do, just that clear, consistent message. This is what we do well, and we're going to bring it to our partners, and they're going to bring it to their end users, and we're finding success doing it, right? But it's all about relationships. It's all about that, that, that comfort level, that personalities, like blending together. That's and we've succeeded doing that. And that ties very well with CNSG's philosophy. You know, we, we really fashion ourselves as the relationship matters master agent. You know, that's where we really feel the rubber meets the road for us is with that handshake, with getting in front of our partners and building a, a good, strong relationship. But the you know, relationship is only one part of it. You've also got to have a really strong product line. So let's kind of get into that with, uh, with, with Granite. Uh, you know, I look at Granite and the kind of the stereotypical thing is your, you know, an another in, in a long line of all-in-one alternative carriers. You know, you've got a voice product, you've got a data product, you've got some SD-WAN, you got some UC, you got all that fun stuff. Uh, but you've also got some very unique products that are kind of, you know, where Grant is, is thought of. I mean, there's still that perception of the mini mall carrier. If you got, you got to deal with them all, deal with Granite. Um, what, what would you say defines the product line for Granite today? And what do you think you do better than the other guys? Yeah, great question. So, and we don't want to be that one size fits all carrier, right? Mm -hmm. You know, obviously it's a competitive space. We're not the only ones selling POTS lines and, and, and broadband like the old days, right? Right. Not that we, you know, we still like POTS and broadband, but there's a lot more to it now, as you mentioned. One of the things that I love about Granite, which also fires me up about Granite, going back to, to the previous question, is we're a billion five debt-free and privately held, right? So we're organically grown. There's no mergers and acquisitions. We're bringing stability to partners' paychecks. So while it's awesome that there's other guys out there, it's great that you have 100 employees or 200 employees. We see it all the time. How, who can keep track of the mergers and acquisitions in our industry, right? So to have this billion five powerhouse, you know, help support, not only bring stability to your customers, but also to our partners' paychecks, the paycheck is, is, is the livelihood of a business. So, you know, I'm not worried about losing my job. The partners should feel confident that they're getting paychecks all the time. So that stability piece in, in telecom is huge. Um, but... Overall, yeah, we used to sell tons of POTS lines. I still like POTS lines. I still like broadband. But there's a lot of other products that we're really, really good at. So just to give you an example, we have multiple SD-WAN platforms, but it's not just one. We have VeloCloud. We have Meraki. We have Tela. And we have another one called Tela IP. So four SD-WAN platforms. It's more of a consultative discussion doing it that way. Um, a couple of years ago, we won... Um, the government's award for, for EIS, which also includes SLED. So the government basically said, here's nine companies that could support the federal government. Granite was on that list, right? So that really gave us the ability to build out our own network for hosted, for SIP, for MPLS. You know, so we went from, you know, one pop to 40 pops seemingly over, overnight, you know, and, and just still building depending on where those customers are. So it's a more inclusive, uh, consultative, discussion with our partners nowadays than ever before. And, and, and just to mention a couple of those unique things, um, Granite Grid for one, you know, there's a couple hundred malls that we have our own symmetrical fiber in, 
right? Where grants, you know, not always the exclusive provider, but in many cases we are. Uh, we do in-building cellular, which is a brand new product to Granite. Mm -hmm. um, what else? What else can we talk about? Mobility. Mobility might be one of the hottest products right now. Literally anything with a SIM card. So obviously the 4G backup, throw the cradle points in. We do that really well. That's fantastic. Um, but cell phones, iPads, uh, we, have a, we have something called Simplicity where there's four major carriers on the SIM card. And if somebody's traveling around the United States or maybe just the great state of Texas, or maybe Oklahoma, we'll use Oklahoma because that's where you are. Maybe you pick up, you know, AT&T better somewhere, but maybe it's Sprint or T-Mobile or Verizon in a different part of the state. So rather, so he has four carriers on that SIM card and he's going to get the best signal wherever he is. So it's really a different conversation. You know, we're, we're really, I think overall our goal is to just customize plans for partners so they can go to their end users and say, yes, this is what we could do. This is how we do it. And really map out that plan. But working with big multi-location customers, it's always customized. Nothing's ever, you know, cookie cutter. It's always just going out and customizing the, uh, the products. You know, you bring up uh, several good points there that I want to highlight for the community. One, you know, to be a billion dollar privately held uh, company is incredibly unique. In fact, there's a term for it. It's called a unicorn. Uh, CNSG has learned a lot about that uh, during our recent acquisition by AppSmart, another uh, unicorn style company. And in that, uh, in the marketplace today, you know, obviously we all know, you know, we'll call them big blue, big green, big red, you know, the, the, the big super carriers that can do it all. And they're also billion dollar companies, but it's multi-billion dollar companies. It's kind of rare to find someone in that alternative space that can truly say, we've got that level of revenue. We have that level of resources. We don't have the debt that comes along with it. So that stability is so incredibly crucial in this era of M&A activity that uh, I think that speaks strongly, not only to grant it today, but granted in the future. I don't think you're someone who's looking to change your colors anytime soon. Also an incredibly deep product bench. Uh, as consultants, we get, we walk in very often and we're, you know, pulling pieces from different suppliers to build that perfect solution. Uh, you know, granted is one of those, one of those few that we, you can work with where literally you could build a complete solution with you guys. And I think that is a, a huge testament to, to your growth and your, your goal to, to, to get to have a, a, a solution for every type of customer. So we, in talking about those product lines, Kevin, where, where do you want the CNSG partner community focusing on? You know, we don't, we look at that jack of all trades, master of none kind of scares us sometimes. So where, where's the, where's the laser focus for Granite and for CNSG today? Yeah, great question. So it has to be multi-location and I don't mean 10 locations of only broadband. Because if you brought that to me, I would, uh, you know, great deal for, for some carriers might not be the best deal for Granite, right? We're mm -hmm. really looking for larger multi-location deals. Those larger, mo larger multi-location deals allow us to leverage that customized platform that I was talking about for Granite. So Chris, let me give you an example of that. Mm -hmm. Large multi-location num uh, uh, multi-location client, a name that everybody knows. Granite actually lost the deal, right? They they selected another carrier, another carrier that everybody knows. This customer was having challenges when they were sending SD WAN boxes and new equipment on site. Those boxes were being lost in the back. They were they ended up you know with the mufflers in the back of the shop, like nobody could find them ever. Big customer, there's. There was no access fees. There was times where the tech actually finally got in but couldn't do anything because they couldn't buy in the boxes. So what Granite did in that situation, we wrapped these boxes in bright blue packaging tape. And then we called the day before and we said, hey, Mr. Manager, your box is gonna be there between 12 and four tomorrow. Make sure you take that box with bright blue packaging tape and put it in the manager's office and don't lose it, right? <laughs> And then the next day after, we called them back and said, hey, did you grab that box with bright blue packaging tape? And they said, yeah, we got it. And we said, that's wonderful, Mr. Customer. We're going to send a tech on site. We're going to get you all set up. Now this, this customer's experience over hundreds of locations. So imagine one guy at Granite. This is our project management team calling and making sure, hey, you're going to have a package tomorrow. Don't go pick up little Johnny 
from school to take them to a soccer game because you have to be there to get that package. Um, well, we don't want to do that interfering customers' lives. But making sure they have what they need so the tech can do their job. So this whole installation process could go smoother. So while bright blue packaging tape isn't, you know, changing the world, it kind of changed this customer's world a little bit. It gave them a lot less pain. And it's something that everybody could do. And maybe people will do it now because a lot of people are going to see this, Chris. But it's just one of those unique things that Granite can do over a larger multi-location customer's rollout, right? And just one other quick example that I like to share, separate customers, still a big mm -hmm. name. And this happens to everyone, so I love telling this story. Construction costs on access, right? Oh, God, yes. We've all it's been there. Nature of the beast. It's not going to be any different from Granite. There's still going to be construction, right? But, and, and I'm just going to make up some numbers for concept purposes, but let's say Spectrum always gives you five grand right off the top. The construction comes in at 20, Spectrum will knock off five. For this one bigger customer, Granite was able to further subsidize that cost. So Spectrum gave them five. Granite gave them five. So now that 20 became 10. This customer signed a three-year term with Granite, but we let them amateurize their construction over a five-year term. That, <laughs> That's that, leveraging a that free company, right? Now, there was other moving parts, right? There was other products that Granite wanted to, to absorb and everything. But think about that. that. That customer was paying hundreds of dollars for T1s in some locations. And now they're going from four or 500 bucks, some locations, they were three or two, whatever, you know, but now they got a hundred, a uh, hundred dollar broadband circuit in there. Life is good. They're able to amortize that over a longer term, right? So we're getting multiple products. It wasn't just for access. We're getting multiple products. You're leveraging Granite's balance sheet, but it's got to make sense for Granite too, right? I'm not doing that for a 10 location deal. So leverage Granite strengths to customize deal. And, and, and I think those two examples are fantastic. All right, Kevin, that was a lot to digest, but uh, there's, there's a couple things I, I want to make sure our partner community really takes away from this is, you know, it's, it's, it's rare enough to find someone that is flexible. And we see that a lot in some of our alternative carriers that deliver the, you know, that stereotypical white glove boutique, whatever you want to uh, call it. But it's, it's that, um, it's that experience that, you know, they can't get with say one of the big name brands. It's rare enough to get that. It's far rarer to get with someone that has the scale ability of a granite uh, with that size, those, that group, that team, that product bench, super duper um, scalable and, and definitely size for, you know, that fortune 50, that fortune 100 company, as well as the small guys, you know, anything that's multi-location should definitely be, be in your wheelhouse. However, I do have a slogan for you and you can tell the marketing folks, you know, you know, at Granite, we cut out the red tape by applying the blue tape. What do you say? That work? <laughs> <laughs> I okay. love it. I think it's yeah. great. Okay. That, you know, uh, and, and we, uh, yeah, we, we get really bad here on the zoom sometimes. So, uh, but no, all kidding aside, <laughs> it's been a great interview. I appreciate you being with us uh, for our CNSG family out there today. What's the best way to reach out to you guys? Yeah. Great question. So a couple different ways, uh, obviously the back office, um, you know, uh, we're fully integrated there. Uh, like I said, regional channel managers all across the country, but um, call me. I, I'm going to give up my cell phone number and put it on because I don't even, I, don't, I literally never, ever use an office. So me personally is 203-305-7862. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Channel Partners is coming up. I'll be there. Um, you know, back office, CNSG, love you guys. So, uh, so yeah, call me, text me, email me, um, or hit me up at Channel Partners. Love to meet you. Well, thanks, Kevin. We appreciate it. It's been a fun interview. And for our folks listening at home, we'll talk to you next time on the Zoom.